Hey out there, God bless you out there. And, uh, YouTube, uh, the God of Israel, state of space, land for Jesus' name's sake in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, for the glory be to God. Hallelujah. New prophecy from the throne room. New prophecy. Uh, prophecy on Democrat Party. I'm a conservative Democrat. I believe in man and woman, one woman, one man marriage. I don't believe in same sex marriage endorsement. I'm a conservative Democrat. I'm against abortion. I'm against illegal immigration. And uh, the Democrat convention 2012 was hijacked by these uh, left-wing liberal uh, leftists. They were for same-sex endorsement. Uh, they uh, same-sex marriage endorsement. They was uh, for abortion, and also I'm a conservative Democrat. I'm for God. I'm a Christian Democrat, conservative, and uh, I am for that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. And there's a left-wing liberal uh, leftist uh, took God out of platform and. Uh, took uh, Jerusalem out of capital and thank God for the conservative Democrats at the convention that they stood up and they got it back in there because if they didn't put them, they, a Democrat party is going to lose the conservative uh, Christians in a Democrat party and the conservative uh, Jewish uh, Christians there too vote. And I'll tell you what, Andrew Jackson was the father of the Democrat party, was birthed in 1829. Uh, he would turn over his grave today. Old Hickory, he would took the uh, left-wing liberal uh, leftist to the woodshed, the wackles there, because uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, we're in the land of Lincoln, but anyway, I can back Andrew Jackson here. <laughs> I go off to my focus there, uh, coming from Pinkneville, Illinois, in the land of Lincoln here. But Andrew Jackson would took the uh, left-wing nuts there, the liberals there, to the woodshed, the, the commies, the soldiers. Thank God. Pray for more conservative Democrat party. I'm proud to be a conservative Christian Democrat. I'll pray, God, you get your hook in your jaw and turn some of them, uh, save their souls, them uh, commies, them socialists, them uh, left-wing liberals, that they see the light, that they'll come over Jesus, and they won't run away from you, Lord. They'll run to you. So anyway, I got something in the Bible tonight. And uh, God's got a sense of humor here. You know, 3,400 years ago, uh, I think this when the God years was first birthed the Democrat Party. It was this talky, talking donkey. You know, we had a lot of talk, talky donkeys here in the 2012. And some of them uh, left-wing uh, commies, as they were socialists, they were being stubborn, trying to take God out of the platform, trying to take uh, Jerusalem, out of capital of Israel, but thank God that for the conservative Christian Democrats and conservative uh, Jewish uh, Democrats, they got it back in here. So today we're in the Holy Bible in Numbers in uh, chapter 22. We start with uh, verse 18 here. Listen closely. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of uh, ba ba uh, Baal K. If Baal K would give me this house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the word. Now therefore I pray you tell ye also here this night, and that I may know what the Lord will say unto me more. And God came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them, but ye but yet the word which I shall say unto thee that shall that shall thou do. And Balaam rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass as a donkey and went with the princes of Moab. And God's anger was kindled because he went and the angel of the Lord stood in a way forever setting against him. Now he was riding upon his ass, that is a donkey, and, two serv and his two servants were with him. And the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand, and the ass, that's the donkey, turned aside out of the way and went into the field, and Balaam, he's a prophet here now, spoke the ass, that's the donkey, 
to turn her into the way. But the angel of the Lord stood in the path of the vineyard, a wall being on this side, and a wall on that side. And when the ass, that the donkey, saw the angel of the Lord, she thrust herself into the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall, and he smote again. There's Balaam, one strike, he, he struck the donkey. Here's number two strikes. He struck the donkey here. And the angel of the Lord went further and stood in a narrow place where it was no turn to turn neither to the right hand or to the left. And when he asked that the donkey there saw the angel of the Lord, she fell down under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he smote the ass that the donkey with a staff. Three strikes, Balaam, you're out. In, in God's, in Israel's eyes, here's a, a story here uh, that the donkey, the talking donkey's going to give uh, Balaam uh, what God has shown the donkey, what the prophet there couldn't see. And the Lord opened the mouth of the ass, that's the donkey, and she said unto Balaam, What have I done unto thee, that thou hast met me these three times? And Balaam said unto the ass, that's the donkey, Because thou hast mocked me, I could there wear a sword in mine hand, for now would I kill thee. And the ass, that's the donkey, said unto Balaam, Am I not thine ass, that's the donkey, upon which thou hast ridden ever since I was thine unto this day? Will I ever want to do so unto thee? And he said, Nay. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand, and he bowed down his head and fell flat on his face. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Wherefore thou hast smitten thine ass that the donkey these three times? Behold, I went out. Here's the power of God. Here's God's anointing of presence. I feel... Uh, God touch, let thy mouth fall double portion, Holy Ghost, before you and only touch the people out there in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, for the power of God is falling on your people out there, for the glory be to God, in Jesus' name's sake. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Wherefore thou, thou smitten thine ass these three times, behold, I went out to withstand thee, because thy way is perverse before me. And the ass that the donkey saw me and turned from me these three times, unless she had turned from me, surely now also I have slain thee and saved their life. There's the talk, talking donkey saved the prophet's life, Balaam here. And Balaam said unto the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I knew not that thou stoodest in the way against me. Now therefore it is displeased thee. I will get me back again and the angel of the Lord said unto Balaam go with the men but only the word that I shall speak unto thee that thou shalt speak so Balaam went with the princess uh, Barat and uh, you know I've been prophesying now uh, 27 years I'm God's prophet to the nations his newspaper prophet to the nations his YouTube prophet to the nations and when I open my mouth God puts the words in, in me. I can't water it down. I can't do man's version or, or tickle your ears or uh, uh, tell you a fable, a fairy tale. When I open my when I open my mouth, thus says the Lord of God, God will hold me accountable. I don't want your blood on my hands. If I don't speak God's words, I'm going to get a good weapon of, of God of Israel and Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Messiah of the world. I got enough of my blood on my hands. I have to every day get on my knees, my cause of prayer. Lord, have mercy on my soul. I sure don't want the blood of yours on my hands. I'm going to warn you with love, not condemnation and guilt. And this is a lesson. Thank God for the conservative uh, Democrats there, the Christians and the Jewish uh, Democrats there. We was the talking donkeys in the convention in 2012. And they wasn't listening to us, the old left-wing liberals, the, the old hard-headed, stubborn other donkeys. They want to do their things. They want to do it their way. But we was warning them, and uh, God finally uh, opened their eyes for the glory be to God. Because you can't take the God off the platform. You know, God's in the Democrat platform. He's in the Republican platform. He's in the Independent platform he's in a tea party platform when you take god out of the platform 
you took uh, Jesus out of the equation and you want to get uh, Genesis chapter 12 I bless the ones that bless Israel and I curse the ones that curse Israel we want to stand behind Israel you know President Obama is not standing by Israel he's anti-Christ he's a Muslim and uh, today is uh, September the 11th 2012, 11 years ago, remember 911, never forget it, just like, remember the Alamo, remember 911, and today I pray for the people in the U.S. Uh, consulates in Egypt was overrun, and in, uh, I think in Libya, uh, one got killed, I, my prayer goes out to the family, but while we, United States of America has the freedom of speech and freedom of religion, where well, all the people around the world wants to come to America, because these other uh, commies and these socialist government dictators and, and these uh, Muslim governments can't uh, chop your head off and kill you. We can speak our voice. We pray for the Muslims. We love the Muslims. We turn the other cheek. We go the extra mile for the Muslims. But the Muslims want to kill the Christians. Muslims, we love you. We don't love what you do. But Jesus is going to get your attention. These are the last days. Jesus returning soon. And Lord, I pray mighty move with the Muslim nation out there all over the world. In North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, have a mighty revival. Uh, save the Muslim soul. Let them repent. Let them go on their, uh, down on their knees, Lord, and you're going to save their soul. If, if they listen to you, open their spiritual ears and spiritual eyes, Lord. I pray for them. And right now, there's a lot of you out there. You're running from the Lord, and, and this is your time. I don't care if you're a voodoo, a Hindu, a Muslim, an atheist, a secular humanism. Uh, a heathen, a pagan, a devil worship, or a witch, wherever you may be in Jesus' name. This is your time. Or new agers, come home to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Just uh, confess with your mouth and, and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ can save your soul. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I did your message for your glory. You put the words in my mouth. Uh, God, I felt your presence, your anointing tonight. Now come down. Holy Ghost, put conviction of their hearts on the people who don't know your personal Savior, that these uh, false gods and false religions. This is the time, Lord Jesus, that you save their soul. And just say, Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, my name is Grant Land Book of Life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For save my soul. If you said that prayer, uh, Jesus Christ just saved your soul. Give him the best hand clap. Uh, right, George and Betty Kelly on YouTube. Uh, emails, we have it on the profile. And uh, Jesus returning soon. And, and we'll see you over out here in Pinkneyville, Illinois. At least the brother men in street. Me and Betty love you. At least you love you. But most important, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, said you loves you. And this is the prophecy on the Democrat Party. And for God's glory, thank you, Jesus. Have a good day. And we'll always remember the 911, the 3,000 people that got killed in the Twin Towers. They got killed at the Pentagon. They got killed in the Pennsylvania out there in the field. Never forget 911. For the glory be to God. In Jesus' name's sake.